Hi everyone! Today we're going to read the story of Sir Small and the Dragonfly. It's a story of a very small but very brave knight. I hope you enjoy! Sir Small and the Dragonfly by Jane O'Connor and illustrated by John O'Brien. Long, long ago, a tiny knight rode his trusty ant into the town of Peewee. The town is called Peewee because it's small. See? It's a flower, but the flower is bigger than the house. It's an apple, but it's also the same size of a person. And here's Sir Small, riding his trusty ant. In Peewee, the tallest person was no taller than a toothpick. The biggest house was no bigger than a shoebox. This is the town for me, said the tiny ant, the tiny knight, I mean. I think I will stay here. And so he did. But one day, a dragonfly flew over the town. Run for your lives, cried the people of Peewee. Here's the dragonfly. Everyone's running away. Lady Tina ran. Down came the dragonfly. Whoosh! Up went Lady Tina. Help! Help! she shouted. The dragonfly has taken Lady Tina to its cave. Who can save her? asked the king. The king sits in his throne. The butcher said, I am too old. The baker said, I am too fat. The candlestick maker said, I am too scared. I am not scared, said the tiny knight. You? Who are you? asked the king. I am Sir Small. I have my sword. It was the size of a pen. I have my shield. It was no bigger than a penny. And I have my trusty ant. The king laughed. <laughs> You are even smaller than we are. I am small, but I am brave. I will save Lady Tina, said Sir, Sir Knight. Sir Small rode to the cave of the dragonfly. The dragonfly was sleeping. Lucky Sir Small. See, here's the cave. And here's the dragonfly. He's sleeping. Shh, he said to Lady Tina. Then he cut the ropes. Lady Tina was free. Come with me, Sir Small told her. Lady Tina got on Sir Small's aunt. Away they rode. There was no time to lose. Soon the dragonfly woke up. Where was the pretty lady? The dragonfly wanted her back. And smoke started coming out of his nose. The dragonfly flew. He flew after Sir Small and Lady Tina. It came closer and closer. But Sir Small was not scared. He saw a big spider web. Now he had a plan. Sir Small rode behind the web. Try and get us, he called to the dragonfly. Down came the dragonfly. It flew into the web and was trapped. That was the end of the dragonfly. He can't move anymore because of the web. That night, the people of Peewee had a big party. 
Lady Tina sat with Sir Small. They were very happy. The king said, Here's to Sir Small, the smallest but bravest of us all. The end. How do you enjoy the story? I hope you liked it. Next time, we will read Sleeping Bootsy. But before that, I do encourage you to, to check out the Step Into Reading series. It's a modular, basically a level type of reading program for, ki for kids who are starting to learn how to read. So there are five steps and there are books and a lot of storybooks per level. They're available online and you can also check the Random House website, stepintoreading.com. I'll place a link in the description below so that you can check them out. See you next time. Bye!